Hey guys, welcome back. Today on The Untidy Artist, we are making mini girl gnomes. I'm super excited about this tutorial. I think these are so darling. I have two other gnome tutorials, one for a gnome ornament and one for a standing gnome. You'll definitely want to check check those out because in those tutorials I break down the steps of how to put your gnome together. In this tutorial I will basically be showing you how I create her hair. I will link both of those videos below. You'll want to check those out to learn how to create your gnome. I have taken a glove. I've already got a little hat and my gnome's body and this will be a standing gnome and then a little bead for the nose. So what we're going to do is make the hair and to make the hair I'm actually using uh, embroidery floss, but it's a thicker embroidery floss and it has glitter throughout it. I really loved the texture of this for my gnome's hair. You can obviously use normal embroidery floss if you'd like. I just thought this added a fun element to our gnomes. You can see it comes in a lot of really fun colors, but if you'd rather use normal embroidery floss, go ahead and do that. I have a ruler and a clipboard. This clipboard will help us hold the hair in place while we braid it. I've got some poly bands, a pair of scissors, and of course my glue gun set on low. Let's get started. So the first step is to take off the packaging and carefully separate the thread so it's a big loop. Then you're going to cut that in half and cut that in half again. So if you'd like to make two gnomes out of this thread, you can do that. So you'll just set the other one aside for now. Then smooth out the thread grab one of your poly bands and put it right in the center and secure it around about three times. So essentially we are parting her hair right in the middle and then you'll want to make sure that thread is nice and smooth. And then welcome to the gnome hair salon. So grab your clipboard and I like to tape it down, smooth out my thread some more and then you're going to slide it right under the clip. So it comes down maybe a uh, a quarter of an inch down and you want to make sure it's even on both sides and then we're going to start on the left and we're going to braid it so separate it into three I like to start with the outside section of the thread and loosely braid it we don't want this to be a super tight braid we want our gnome to have beautiful full braids so after you've braided down go back and loosen the braid a little bit make sure it's even and then Grab your poly band, add it to the end, and then I go back and I loosen it some more. And then I'm going to grab my ruler and measure it. I have found that the best length is about one inch. And once I have the first side done, I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. Once again, separating it into three and starting with my outside section, loosening it, adding the poly band and loosening it again. And once I have them even, I'm going to grab a piece of thread and I'm going to tie it above the poly band. You want to make sure it's above the poly band. And I knot it in the front and then wrap it around to the back. And I take it around about four different times and end with a double knot. Now, if you'd like, you can just leave the poly bands on your gnome. You don't have to do this part. Or if you want the thread to blend in more, you can use the same color you used for her hair. And then I'm gonna grab some scissors and carefully slide them under the poly band and cut it off. And this gives us a really pretty braid. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. So once we have our braids secure, and I will go back and kind of loosen them up, make sure that they are, look kind of the same, they're sisters, not twins, and then grab your glue gun, put a tiny dab of glue over the knot so it doesn't come undone, and cut off the ends of the thread. Or if you'd like, you can leave them hanging down. Then we're going to trim the ends of her braids, but just a little bit right now. We will go back and cut these shorter later. So for right now, we're just giving her a little trim. And ta-da, we have a cute little braided hairstyle. Now we're going to assemble our gnome. So I have my gnome body, we're making a standing gnome, my hat, a little piece of polyfill to put in the hat to make it fuller. I've got my braids, obviously, and a little piece of embroidery floss to decorate the hat and my wooden bead. Now, if you've never made a gnome, you'll wanna check out that basic gnome tutorial uh, for the standing gnome or the ornament. I'm gonna grab my braid, place it against the body, and get it right where I want it to be so it's nice and centered in the front. I hold the braid, I hold the braids together really close while I'm doing this part. 
And then I put a tiny dab of glue and secure the braids onto the top. Then I'm gonna grab my polyfill, fill up my hat, and I'm going to pull the hat down over my gnome. Now you're gonna pull it down further than it will end up being. I find it's helpful to hold onto those braids and hold them together while you're doing this so they don't move around too much. Then turn your gnome so she's facing down and I hold down the hat and the braids with my finger and put my thumb on the back of the body, grab my glue gun, put some glue and pull the hat down up and over the glue and then hold it into place until it sets. Then I lift it up in the front and we're going to add our nose. So I take my glue gun and you can see I'm still holding those braids together tightly and I'm gonna grab my glue gun, add a tiny dab of glue, add my wooden bead and you want the holes going vertical and I kind of put it at an angle so when I add glue at the top, I can pull the hat up and over and it covers up that little hole. Adding the bead for the nose is my favorite part because our gnome instantly gets personality. Now, the last thing we're gonna do is trim up the bottom of those braids. So what I like to do is stand her up because we want the braids to lay nicely. So I'll trim off a little bit, stand her up, see if I like where they hit, and then I can go back and trim off a little bit more so that when she's standing, the braids uh, aren't going down too far. Once you have them the length that you like, you're going to pull up the braid and add a tiny dab of glue, and then gently press the braid down. This will help hold it in, in place. And once you've got those both secure, uh, the last thing we're gonna do is just add a little bit of uh, decoration to our gnome. So I grabbed a piece of my embroidery floss, put a tiny dab of glue on the back, and wrapped it around a couple of times. And then I'm going to take this cute little piece of greenery I got this at Michael's, it came in a little bunch. I just cut off a tiny piece of it and I'm going to put a tiny dab of glue up on the side of her hat and add this little embellishment. And that's it guys, we're all set. What do you think? I absolutely love her. These little gnomes make me so happy. They're so whimsical and fun and I think it would be fun to decorate all year round with these cute little gnomes. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. That would be amazing. And if you wanna click on that bell icon, you'll be notified the second I come out with a new tutorial. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate your support. I love hearing from you and seeing all of your beautiful creations. And with that said, we'll see you next time.